Radio.com. Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another episode of the Civil Canadians. I'm Scotty V and I'm here with King Kansas. How are you? Pretty good. How are you doing, Scotty? I'm good, thank you. Uh, today we have an exciting show. Um, today King will be taking the lead on this. Aren't you pretty excited about what we're going to talk Scotty, about? Scotty, you don't understand how excited. I've been excited since last Friday when we finished our uh, episode number two with the Marvel U there. So I'm really excited to get going, buddy. Alright, so let's get this on. King, okay. I give it to you. Cool. Hey guys, thanks for being here. Well, basically, I guess you've seen all our memes and our posts all this week, what two feature film franchises we're going to be talking about. Good old uh, Michael Bay's Transformers <laughs> and Fox's The Wolverine franchise. So the first one, well, what I'm going to basically do, guys, is just get into a kind of like a brief summary of what has been offered up to this point right now, Scotty. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'll start with Transformers and then... Maybe you can do a little bit of the Wolverine because I know you are an X Men guy. Can't leave you totally out of this episode. No, of course, know, not. Uh, of course not. We don't work that way, do we? No. Okay. So basically, guys, uh, first Transformers movie. We got introduced to Sam with Wiki. Uh, a little tie in with the history of his grandfather discovering the cube with Megatron, who crash landed years and years before we even get introduced to Sam himself. Yep. Uh, basically, the whole movie is about them trying to get their hands on a pair of glasses that had coordinates to this cube that ha uh, possesses knowledge, energy, you name it. It will help Megatron rule the world. So anyways, he goes on a deep freeze. The cube gets lost. Years later, Sam discovers the glasses, the cube as well. Megatron gets woken up by uh, Starscream, another Decepticon which stirs all the pot, uh, battle scene downtown, Prime and the Autobots arrive on Earth to kind of deal with the whole scenario. They get their hands on the cube first, uh, big battle scene at the end, classic line, until all are one, and also, uh, what do you call it, Megatron fights Prime, uh, good old Sam takes the cube, pushes it in his chest, and basically kills Megatron temporarily. Yeah. And at the end of the movie, Scotty, mm -hmm. they dump his body in the sea so nobody can get their hands on it. That's movie number one, guys. Number two, Revenge of the Fallen. So basically, this time, instead of going after the cube, they're going to the... Scotty's not liking it already. The Matrix of Leadership. So they really messed that one up, guys. I don't know what they were thinking, they, Scotty. They really messed that up. I was really mad. Yeah, it, 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 it was, guys. Yeah, what they did with it and what how they use it, it's really ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so basically <laughs> on the story of that, there was 13 crimes. One becomes bad, and the one guy who becomes bad is the guy called The Fallen. The Fallen, yeah. So he's the original Decepticon that good old Megatron looks up to. We figure that out. It's like, yeah, it's... of all guys, I, I don't know how they can make Megatron follow anybody. Because Megatron, you think it is the bad yeah. ass of... Uh, the Decepticons, right? Yeah, he's like basically worship me and no one else, which makes no sense because he started yeah. to follow the Fallen, so he, they can defeat the last Prime. It didn't make any sense, but anyways, that's not besides the point. There was much more worse things in this movie. Continue. Yeah, like the uh, dog face Devastator. Like, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> it that was like bad. a little pit bull on a leash or something. With uh, it was just that was a disaster for a first combiner of the Transformers thing with Michael Bay. Yeah, you think he would do a little bit better on that front, you know? Exactly. It's bad, and they were climbing because, up pyramids. Just, and, just because the first movie was so good, and how they introduced the Autobots. Exactly. They had to destroy the second one. I understand there was a writer strike going around in that time hall. They mm -hmm. didn't know if they were going to finish the movie in exactly. time, this exactly. and that. I can understand that, but don't rush the movie if it's not going to be good. Exactly. And then you had Shia in real life damage in his hand, so they had to write that in the script. They yeah. his hand transporting somehow with this old fart jet fire. Uh, kind of character, I was, that was another yeah, joke. Jetfire was a joke and a half. <laughs> uh, that, he was not Jetfire from G1. No, they made him into some sort of stealth thing, and yeah. he was walking with a little cane thing. I don't even know what the hell that was. I don't know. know. But anyways, yeah. that that's something Yeah, so basically, stupid. yeah, so they end up stopping the Fallen. Prime gets parts from this Jetfire character <laughs> there, so he can defeat him. He basically, what, whips his butt in... Yeah. What, five seconds was it? That's what it seemed like. Yeah, right? not even. Yeah, and then of course Megatron gets half his face blasted off by Prime <laughs> there, and that was pretty much. He was crying a little bit, and then he took off, and then that was the end of 
That was it. Number two. Number two. Number three. Number three now. Scotty, this is better than the second one that kind of got something right, right? Mm -hmm. It replaced Megan Fox, which people were devastated over that, which yeah. you know, there was, was a story behind that. But uh, I was happy with that change. Scotty was happy. I was like, eh, you know what? I don't know. It's just something just to fill the page in the time with, you know? Yeah. You had to make Sam care about something besides the Transformers or Prime or whatnot. Yeah. So on that one, that's the one that Scotty, I believe that supposedly the art escaped or was trying to escape eons ago from Cybertron, Megatron blasted it, crash landed on the moon. And on the moon, it had Sentinel Prime and uh, those little pillars, right? The pillars, That yeah. was like the time travel, yeah. whatever. So anyways, so to make a long story short, Prime ends up reviving Sentinel Prime, brings yeah. him back to life. And what does uh, Sentinel Prime do? He turns on them all. Yeah. He uh, kills Ironhide. He just melts them to shreds yeah. in, in that scene, right? That I, was, I almost cried when I saw that. I almost cried. You know what? Cried. I loved Ironhide, too. Like, he, was he was my one favorite. one of those guys, you know, the guns, the cannons, yeah. the little humor with he, him. He was their heavy weapon uh, specialist. Exactly. So they lost him right away, so that kind of sucked right there. Bummer. So anyway, so from there, then you see him that he teams up with Megatron. He sets the pillars in the air. Uh, he wants to bring Cybertron closer because they want to fix up Cybertron, I guess repair it in a sense, and of yep. course, they needed a workforce, that's where the humans come in play, mm -hmm. and that's what happens, and then Prime ends up fighting Sentinel Prime, beats him up, but there was a wicked uh, street scene that he t ends up taking 20 Decepticons or whatever on the street to save his little Autobots there yep. that were in trouble, and then a uh, big fight scene at the end, Prime loses an arm, he still manages to do a little bit of damage to Sentinel, and of course Megatron got teased or coaxed uh, by Sam with Wiki's girlfriend, Carly, I think that's her name. Yeah, right? Carly. Yeah, yeah, so she ends up talking trash to him and then doesn't like the fact that he was called his little uh, bitch. Yeah. I think it was bitch. Yeah. I think it was that yeah, word. So yeah, so that got him going. So then he ends up going there. He ends up helping Prime kill Sentinel. Yep. And then what happens? Prime repays him the flavor with one arm. He rips Megatron in half in his face. His face is rips it off. It was done. So that was the end of uh, the part thir third. The Dark third of one. the Moon. Yeah, the third one. Dark of the Moon. And then the next one, Age of Extinction. That was the recent one out of the... Uh, it should be left extinct, right? It's done. <sighs> yes. Wasn't it sad? It was bad. I really liked it when I first watched it in the theater, but then when I watched it the second and third time, I was really mad. You would think with Dinobots since I know we got all excited with Dinobots. The trailer looks so cool, and then what do we get? Dinobots, not even in the whole movie, just like the last twenty minutes. Yeah, and they threw what Prime being that old-looking, nostalgic uh, uh, truck I, that he was, that rusted <laughs> piece of garbage. That was probably the highlight of the movie for <laughs> me because it's like, oh my god, it's Prime. Yeah, from G One. Yeah. But I did like a few things in the movie. I like the the Which bite. Likes, uh, I like the the fight in uh, Tokyo or Japan. Yes. Wherever they were fighting, that sequ that whole sequence is that good. That was crazy. And when Optimus was riding on the uh, Grimlock, um, Grimlock yeah. They never mentioned his name, Grimlock. They just showed him. You just assume, yeah. He just punched him, became his master, and was riding yeah. him like a horse. Yeah. Right. That was the only cool sequence that was I cool. I thought. Mark was Wahlberg nice. was a good addition. Mark I, Wahlberg did well. I like Mark Wahlberg better than uh, Shia LaBeouf. A little older character, you exactly. know, a little more rounded, right? He's exactly. a good actor. You can't go wrong with Mark exactly. Wahlberg, you know. Um, what else? The, his daughter could have been left out. The boyfriend could have been left yeah, out. Yeah, those are unnecessary. You, you just could have just left lockdown. Lockdown. And yeah. you know what? That's all you needed to kind of get the story going. Yeah. You know? Uh, other than that, the movie was kind of a flop for me. It was, and the transformation with this KSI technology and Galvatron no, kind of warped that, it. That, that was like... That was bad CGI. Bad CGI. <laughs> oh, bad CGI. And, and Scotty was them being lazy uh, yeah. with the transformation because even some other scenes of the characters transforming was kind of like off screen and you kind yeah. of seen them slowly turning into the vehicle. Yeah, you can hear them not, exactly. not see them explosions like always guys michael bay delivered on that but the mm. story was kind of weak on weak, that like, yeah. it could have been much better and they kind of killed us so that leaves us off guys with where the transformers universe is now wolverine wolverine scotty's domain over here all right okay, so Scotty, tell us about the good old logan this is the good old Logan, one of my favorite X-Men characters, but yet X-Men Origins Wolverine was kind of a mess. Uh, the movie was leaked online. I watched the leaked version you know online. What? I think, I think Scotty, I did as well. I watched the leaked version online in class. Don't do this at home, kids. <laughs> I watched it in class. Stay legit. Um, the only good thing 
I thought about the movie was the opening sequence when they were in World War One. They were that World, was crazy. World yeah. War Two, and then that I think the Vi- Vietnam War. I think I think they were. Yeah, in. it was different wars through the different eras of time. I believe. Right? Yes. You see him kind of like running with saber I think saber yes, was by his, his side. brother. Just, they start to twist uh, the storyline, kind of reveal a little bit more of that, right, Scott? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Our fellow Canadian Wolverine, you know, from no- uh, Yellowknife, uh, Yukon. Somewhere in Alberta, Some, I think it was Alberta. Somewhere there. Yeah. Um, so basically, he has mutant power. He can heal. Yep. He has bone claws, which was a total disaster. I hated the bone claw. That's theory. I know they had to tie up the comic books. Yeah, the recent story. It, it you was know, they could have left stupid. it out, and it would have been fine. Just mm-hmm. him running naked in the forest. I think it was. Yeah, he got his claws. They kind of went in and out, guys, of the whole. Yeah, the whole origin yeah. thing. Uh, so basically, he goes into a project, the Weapon X, I think, yep, uh, Weapon X project. project. Yep. Um, he gets his uh, animantium claws, right. which in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is vibranium. Total, yes, total we different to thing the name, guys, because of the I, studio but, politics. You yeah, because Cap on, Shields Fox. made up the same material, but they called it uh, like Ray Beam. But Come on, Fox. I'm make a deal with Marvel, you know? So basically, <laughs> they, they also introduced Deadpool in this movie, Ryan Reynolds, which they butchered Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, you know, him just normal was cool, but yeah, that whatever that... Yeah, stitched up mouth thing and absorbed the powers. Yeah, yeah they could have left that out. He's man. called he's called the Merc with the mouth for a reason. Yeah. Why would you sew his mouth shut? I think they were trying to get some humor out of that, saying, "Oh, look, we shut him up." But yeah, no, nah, it kind of backfired. Back big time big backfired. Time uh, the, so the whole story was a mess. Uh, at the end, they were fighting Deadpool. Sabretooth was helping uh, Wolverine, mm-hmm. uh, and then they were fighting in some uh, a facility. It looked like a silo, like a factory silo yeah. or something. It, that was a mess in itself. A mess and a half. It let was. me tell you that. Yep. The building thing collapses. Deadpool is presumed dead, but post credit yeah. scene. He get, spoiler: I think his head gets cut off, and he starts uh, shooting around like Cyclops or something. Like <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was. I don't know. That was a joke. But, but then William Stryker had a bullet, shot him in the head, lost all his memories, and exactly. then and then we go into the X Men One, X Men Two. That's right. It starts to all go into there, guys. And what Sky forgot to mention too, well, I think one of the highlights of the movie was, believe it or not, yes, Taylor Hitch has Gambit. Yeah. Remember that scene? Yeah. The special effects, and he, I think he nailed it. Oh yeah, he so did it for sure. That was sure. like a highlight for me, Scotty. Mm-hmm. Had to mention Gambit. I love Gambit. It's my favorite X Men. But anyways, <laughs> continue, Scotty. I'm sorry. No worries. So basically, that wraps up the whole first movie. Then they go into the X Men universe, the exactly. one, two, and three, and then the other spinoffs, and then the next one, the Wolverine. Wolverine. The the second installment in that franchise. Basically, mm-hmm. this is taking after X three when he killed Jean because he's right. he's been having a lot of flashbacks with Jean and imagining right. her with her in her in his bed and just. In daily life, yeah. uh, so he has to go to Japan because he mm-hmm. saved one of the masters or sensei or I think guards. it was a general that was guarding him or something. Yeah, he, but his healing factor, like the bomb goes off or something. Like yeah, that. the bomb goes off and then saves him. Mm-hmm. Then he owes his life to Wolverine. Exactly. But Wolverine obviously is doing his own thing. That's right. And then uh, one of the Asian characters that has a power. I don't remember her name. I can't remember the top of my head too now, but uh, yeah, she has some fancy whatever, and he meets like this kind of, I want to call it like a princess or something, yeah. the protector in the garden, and meanwhile, we don't know at the time, guys, spoiler, you should have watched it by now, he's the daughter of the general, yeah. right? Yeah. And the jet, yeah, because there's like, everything's all twisted together, guys, and mm-hmm. whatnot, but. So then, uh, there was another character, in I think her name was Viper. Yes, that was you see how speechless we are we don't yeah, it, we don't know what to say to that yeah you know just a lot of green that's like green yeah, green and tongue poison and just, uh, it was bad let's yeah. not talk about that yeah. uh then later on he fights the samurai the white samurai i think it's called silver and the, samurai yeah. silver samurai thank you no and uh, <laughs> and uh, the big reveal at the end was the sensei, or not the sensei, the, the general. general. The general that he saved was inside that suit the whole time. Yes. That's what was keeping him alive because earlier on in the film he died and he was asking Wolverine for his powers. Yep. Wolverine didn't want to give him his power. Okay. Uh, so basically that's about it. Oh, fights him, defeats him. Fights him, defeats him, also loses his animantium claws. He gets sucks. Yeah, he sucks it out of him because that stupid whatever. The on stupid his drills. Suit, first they know, cut. First they dumb. cut. First they cut it off. Exactly. And then you see the bones surrounding the kind metal. Of like a tap, right? You know how you tap into something. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, sucking the energy or his healing factor, mm-hmm. and then obviously it didn't work. And then Wolverine defeats him, pushed him off the building because there's a hole. 
That's it. The end. The end for the Wolverine. Uh-huh. And now the next one that's coming out is uh, Logan. Yeah. They just revealed uh, the third one. It's going to be rated R because Deadpool was such a success. I like Deadpool. Deadpool will talk another day, but Deadpool, <laughs> Deadpool was a really good movie. I really enjoyed it. I watched it with it, one it of my friends. It was good. It was good. I'm not gonna say I loved it, mm-hmm. but it was good. Yeah, same here. I didn't love it, but it was good. Yeah. Um, yeah, Logan. Logan. So yeah, I don't know much about uh, the Logan at this point. All I know is they're gonna do elements of the old man, old man Logan. Exactly. They can't really do a whole lot because a lot of the characters are. With They'll the, get some sort of adaptation. Take a little bit here and then yeah. like the way you see the right Scott yeah. and kind of twist it into exactly. One movie. They they can't really use a lot of the characters because yeah. a lot of the characters they are that are in the comic are in the MCU. Yes. So they can't really use those characters. Um, so How about villains, Scotty? Who, uh, who do we hear rumored as uh, some of the I villains? Think, I think it's Mr. Sinister is one of them. I he- that's what I heard too. Uh, I don't know who else. I really and that haven't... poster, something about the, the oh that little kid that's holding his claws. It's yes. rumored that it might be X twenty three. X twenty three, yeah. Which is supposedly Wolverine's daughter. Or a remake of Wolverine. Well, like they're a, gonna twist it somehow, guys. Yeah, they're, they're gonna, gonna they're gonna twist it somehow. If it's just that simple, we're not gonna watch the damn thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's basically it. That's what we know so far about Wolverine, and we know that it's coming out in March. March, March seventeenth okay. or something. And like that. Patrick Stewart's in there. Professor X is also in the movie, yep. so it's gonna be good. Those two actors, Wolverine's gonna go and bang, rated R. Yep. Blood. Blood, lots of blood lot and of gore, blood. gore, gore, well, swearing and all that. We're gonna see actually blood splatter everywhere. That's all we want. If if they can make the Logan movie like the game uh, X Men Origins, oh, with the blood and gushing and everything, that would be amazing. That would be sick if they can do what they did with the game. Um, so that's it for Logan. That's Logan. So now, uh, for as for Transformers guys, there's a lot of stuff you can find online. Yeah. The Transformer filming. They're filming in England. Uh, just to kind of sum it up very quickly, guys. Uh, the film in England, there's going to be supposedly a medieval King Arthur connection. King, I yep. think the relic or something they might be after is uh, Excalibur. Mm-hmm. There's going to be Stonehenge around, so there might be some time traveling. Megatron's back with a different alt mode. He looks kick butt. I'll tell you right yeah, now. He does. Uh, there's more Autobots. Cars are back. Uh, different uh, alt mode for uh, good old Hound. Mm-hmm. Some sort of truck. Yep. Drift as well. The list goes on and on, guys. Uh, Mark Wahlberg's back. Mm-hmm. I don't think his daughter is. I hope not. And the only thing I'm hoping that they're going to do, because they kind of kept quiet with a lot of the human characters in it. Josh Duhamel's back, by the way, too. And same with, uh, I think, Tyrese is in it, too. But They ha- they haven't confirmed him yet, but... They, he's in it. He's in, he's, he's in it. He's been filming, but will be nice, Scotty, that will surprise the hell out of everybody if good old Shia comes back. Yeah, just and for a cameo. Like, oh, not you guys again and kind of end it right there so yeah that's what we heard so far with transformers i'm pretty sure down the road when there's trailers and whatnot coming mm-hmm. it's coming out in june mm-hmm. that's it so scotty from those two movies we talked buddy mm-hmm. which one do you think is going to do damage at the box office buddy for next year who's going to win the battle transformers optimus prime or mr adamantium king himself right on our back wall here wolverine you know what i'm going to go with transformers you know what? Michael Bay, I know. People cry and complain he's back. All these movies make killer money. Yeah. Dark of the Moon made over a billion dollars. Age of Extinction made over a billion. There you go. See? So it's gold. pretty It's Movie pretty gold, It's guys. pretty much going to make a billion dollars when it comes out. Better story, guys. Until we see a better Transformers movie. I'm going to agree with Scotty. I'm going to go with... Uh, well, he's going to pick Transformers money-wise, but for good old story, I think... Mm-hmm. Wolverine's gonna go with the bang. Yeah, with the st- it's, in know? terms so, of in terms of story, Logan will do good. Just based on what we kind of seen, so I think he's due. He's about due for a yeah. good ending, right? And yeah. finish because that's his last movie, right? Hugh Jackman. Yep, Hugh Jackman's final so, movie is Wolverine. So Fifty. Yeah. Unless he's older he, than me, guys. Unless unless the Red School to Marvel, and then he might do it again. Yeah. That's what he was saying. But that'll that'll be it, you know. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think you're right. Hopefully, until we see a good Transformers movie since the first one and maybe three, mm-hmm. we're sticking with. Logan. So, anyways, guys, if you agree with us or you don't, leave comments below. Yeah. Get our, get in contact us. Get in contact. Uh, our contact info is going to be at the bottom of the screen. Um, yep. Don't, guys, don't be afraid to message us. We're, we yeah, don't, guys. We don't bite. We will answer you guys. Exactly. We won't bite. We won't yell at you. We only yell at each other. Yeah. Anything. Yeah. For, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, just <laughs> contact us, guys. We got our fan appreciation thing in November. Yeah. Give us ideas of what you guys want to see, yeah. you know, because that's what we're here for. Didn't turn all, all of you guys. So uh, yeah. on that note, Scotty. See you soon. Bye.
good? I'm good. You look pretty. Thank you. <laughs>